want to call it breakthrough came when Walt said, the Lord's healed me. I'm never going back as Laura. It's over. I want to come back to church as Walt, which scared me to death because I was afraid if he, if he did and then he failed, we might lose him. And so I was protective of him. I didn't say no, but our elders prayed about it and said, there's no reason not to do this. And so we decided to have a Sunday and where I preached on Zacchaeus, a man nobody ever would have believed could be saved. So I got up and said, here's the story. It absolutely blew everybody's mind, especially the disciples. And, and, um, and I want to tell you about my friend Walt. And I told his story briefly. The abuse, the struggles, the gender issues. And I said, I want to introduce my friend Walt Heyer this morning. And people stood up and applauded. It's the most powerful woman I think I've ever been a part of. And I think for Walt, that, that established a moment where he realized he really was Zacchaeus. And he had been uniquely laid hold of by the Lord. And God was doing something miraculous. And if he wasn't all on board before, he was now. Once I got redeemed and restored by Christ through the church and, be, and detransitioned and then began to um, deal with life on life's terms and then got married to a really beautiful, smart lady who has been my companion now for 22 years and married and it's exciting. And we began 10 years ago to develop this ministry. And so through the ministry, it's healed me to be able to help with, uh, with other people who are struggling. There's nothing like being able to speak into other people's lives who, who can see their own brokenness in my life and what happened to them. So they see the, that you can be healed by looking at my life. When the Lord sends people to us, that scare us. People that we don't know what to do with. We don't know if we should trust what they're saying. We need to prepare ourselves and expect the Lord to put us in comfortable, uncomfortable positions. He was always doing that to disciples. You know, the church is really a hospital for broken people. And people who come in that have gender dysphoria um, are broken just like everybody else. And they are not unique in their brokenness. They're only unique in how they wear their brokenness. But we need to treat them in a way that invites them to admit they're wrong and invite them to the redeeming and restoration power of Jesus Christ, because that's what it's about. That's what the church is all about. It's about healing. It's not about leaving people alone. Churches who who advocate, well, you can come and just stay transgender, stay whatever you want. That's not what the Lord Jesus Christ has for the church. It's about change. Walt helped me to not be so afraid of making a mistake. Walt wanted, I think, the love and affirmation and friendship and acceptance. And so we began to kind of walk side by side, even though there were times we didn't see things the same way. And we saw him differently and things hit him real hard that I didn't think were going to hit him hard. So being expecting and preparing as much as you can, that it's not wrong people come to church that don't know where to sit, that talk during the sermon, that let their kids jump off the platform. That's exactly where they should be, even though it ruins our plans. And having that openness to the Lord and the wisdom to control chaos versus let the room go. That's the adventure of life with God. He's forever walking us into things we are completely unqualified to master. And now he, then he says, I got you right where I want you. You're ready now.